Hello and welcome to Koi Tech Academy. Now you must be wondering and you've been seeing this name Koi Tech Academy uh, before my videos every now and then and you might have observed that my channel name is also added with the Koi Tech Academy. So what is it actually? So Koi Tech Academy is kind of an open source platform that I have started for people who would want to learn uh, programming. Now there are a lot of people uh, whether they are beginners or they are at intermediate levels or advanced they are looking forward to learn new things as developers. Now the information is definitely present on the internet it's it's everywhere but the problem is that it's all scattered around. So the Kori Tech Academy is going to give you one-stop shop where you can come in you can find out that no matter which level you are at, whether it's beginner, intermediate or advanced, you can come here, you can check the roadmap and roadmap is going to tell you, as you can see over here, is going to tell you that you know if you want to become a front-end developer or if you already are front-end developer, which are the skills that you already know and what are the different technologies which are part of front-end or back-end over here. So you, you can check that information out. Along with that, you can see that you have got an extensive resource which is your courses okay uh, and inside of courses you can see you've got all of the uh, different types of courses available you have your Gatsby you have uh, you know Webpack, Babel, WordPress, React.js you've got like loads and loads of uh, uh, technology courses available that you can learn it's absolutely free it's also a progressive web app which means if you go to your mobile phone and open this in a browser you see you get an option of add to home screen once you do that it gets added to the home screen and now you can see you can go to this app icon click on it and it opens up on your mobile so it gets uh, you know it gets available as uh, an application on the mobile itself if you go to blogs if you click on the blogs and let's say if you're reading it uh, internet stops working no problem at all I can show you if you go offline in airplane mode this still works which means this app still works offline as well isn't that amazing brilliant so uh, you can go ahead and add this to your home screen on mobile itself uh, now this platform not only helps you learn new things but also if there's any meetup going on whether it's local it's an international meetup, there's an online meetup, uh, there's an online event, there's a WordCamp, or different kinds of events. You'll be able to get information about that. So I try to ensure that the event section that you see right here is updated. Okay. And also you have a blog section as well. So uh, I like to write blogs. So the information that I read, that I learn while uh, developing as, as experience that I gain I go ahead and write that down so you can find in this section you, you've got different blocks available and the best part is that uh, you've got these blocks listed as categories also so if you are interested in a particular category of a blog you can go ahead and check out here and at the same time you, if you want to read all the latest blocks you can uh, you can also see uh, all of the latest blocks okay if you're going to go ahead and learn a particular course generally what happens is if you go onto YouTube uh, you can find uh, a part of the playlist uh, like one of the videos from the playlist but then it becomes difficult uh, for you to find the ones which are prior and after that video so what this one-stop shop is going to do for you is that uh, every time I make a video I'm going to leave a link of that course so that that takes you to Kodi Academy you can come over here and as you can see for example uh, in this section you've got all of the videos that are being listed right and you can go step by step like first video second video third and the best part is that you also have a link to the github repository uh, so you can get the code itself uh, you also have some information about that particular video sometimes what I tend to do is uh, while I'm making the video I also go ahead and write a blog on that because everybody learning mechanism is different some of the people learn by watching the video okay well I'm one of those who, who likes uh, you know watching videos and learning by that uh, but there while there are some of them who likes to read blogs like they want to look at the documentation 
probably read a blog about it. So they like to learn by reading. So I've got both the uh, methods available. So whichever you feel is best for you, you can go with that option. Okay. Um, also, you can go ahead and ask your questions here in the comment box, not only on the YouTube, but here as well. You can add your rating. You can check out other people's rating, what they are talking about it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can probably check if people have already answered that or you can ask it here as well. And if you want to know more about me, there's an about section. Uh, you can get to know more about me as well. So you have courses on uh, Babel, you've got courses on Chrome Developer Tools, you've got CSS, uh, you've got Gatsby, GitHub, you also have JavaScript. Uh, this is one of the uh, most commonly re common requests that I've got reg regarding building course with JavaScript. So I have created a course with JavaScript and this is not only just for beginners but advanced level as well. So it has got a few sets of videos. It starts with the basics, the very basics about what JavaScript is, is and its core, its core concepts. And along with that, it also goes ahead and uh, gradually progresses towards, uh, you know, what goes behind, how how the code is compiled, and what are the what is the browser engine that you used, and how the DOM tree is constructed. So all of that information. And I would suggest the best way to learn JavaScript is basically build games. I learned JavaScript by building games okay I have my game on Play Store you can check that out the, you can check that out as well uh, so how you learn by building games is because when you build games uh, you are actually doing a lot of DOM manipulation and for JavaScript it is really important so uh, there are a lot of elements that are moving you know the elements that are changing on the DOM uh, so I had created a bubble shooting game in this in this series so you can check that out how that is created and it's kind of a, you can say that a combination of a crash course plus an extended course. So it's going to, you'll be able to learn with fun. That's the best part about it. You know, you, when you develop game, uh, you know, you, you really enjoy building that because who, come on, who, who doesn't love games? I'm sure many of you love games as well. Not everyone, but many of you. Okay. Brilliant. So, so soon, uh, I may want to update my channel name to Cody Tech Academy as well. And the reason why I'm going to update the name as Cody Tech Academy is because I want to dedicate this channel mainly to coding purposes. You might sometimes see uh, videos for unboxing as well, like the one I did today regarding the uh, headset that I'm wearing. But I want to dedicate solely for programming tutorials. Okay, so it's going to be basically a tech channel. And for other things that I do, I would probably, you know, create other channels where you can find other types of videos as well. But this video, this channel, I would like to dedicate it to my dear friends, you people, you folks who are programmers, uh, who are developers, uh, and I really want to help especially the beginners. Okay. To be very honest, I feel that um, everyone is a beginner uh, at some level okay uh, if a concept is new to you if any concept is new to you you are a beginner on that concept right no matter how uh, you know experienced developer you are uh, you will still be a beginner at that concept if you've never uh, you know studied that concept or you never know about that concept yes there will be some difference that experienced developers will be able to grasp things uh, fast however uh, even there are some uh, you know beginners who can grasp things fast it's uh, it all it all depends on your grasping skills okay uh, but uh, when I try to make videos I try to ensure that I would like to keep it uh, really really simple because I've seen a lot of videos well where uh, the teacher uh, assumes that you already know about some of the concepts when I build videos I try to ensure that I, I focus on describing each and every line of the code. I don't go by assuming that you would know this. Okay. And uh, the reason for this is because when I started learning programming and when I watched videos, I, I observed that there are a few concepts that I wasn't aware of. And, and, you know, when I'm watching the video, that wasn't explained. So I promised, I made a promise to myself that when I make videos, I'm going to ensure I'm going to explain each and every line. 
uh, as much as possible. Awesome. So with that, I say uh, goodbye to you and I'm going to talk to you soon. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. A lot of people say smash it. Just, just smash it. Okay. And do like the video as well if you liked it and uh, sure about it. Okay. Awesome. If you have any questions, leave the comment in the comment box and I will see you soon. Thank you.